All right, guys, pardon the bad lighting, but we were just driving on the highway. We have this big tree that landed right in the middle of the road. We got a car that's stuck over here. I'm going to help him out right now. And, uh, Irv, let's get the strap. Do you have, uh, are there hooks or anything on the front? Sometimes. Last minute I saw this here. I said, holy shit. And then it just, I. Oh, you were coming. Okay. <laughs> it was either go through the yeah, tree yeah, or fucking yeah, yeah. uh, go up to the side. All right, guys, cops just showed up now also. This car right here has no hooks on the front or the rear, so I'm not sure how the heck we're going to pull it out. I can't find a good tow point to pull them out with. All right, I got to go help them out. I'll be back. All right, guys, sorry I couldn't get more, more of it on film when I did the recovery. Basically, I didn't even know. At first, I thought he might have been a police officer, but he ended up being a uh, firefighter. He just actually got off, got off his shift and the tree just came into the middle of the road. He swerved into the snow, as you guys saw, and he was stuck on the side. So the thing that sucked was that the car, he was a Hyundai that he was driving. It was all wheel drive, but it didn't have any tow points. So we ended up just taking a tow strap, wrapped it around the rear axle, and he came out pretty quick. I should have definitely listened to all those trolls that were telling me to sell this piece of junk from the beginning. Now I gotta deal with all this blue smoke and I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Good morning guys, welcome to James C. Rides, I'm John. And today we're gonna be addressing the issue that I think over 100 people must have asked this question on a recent viral video that I made with this car. Everybody's asking about the blue smoke, telling me I have engine issues, I need a new motor, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna get into all those details, but before we get into that, first, I have a cash giveaway. Just wanna remind you guys, if you haven't entered in this cash giveaway, in the description below, there's a link for this cash giveaway with the rules. It's very simple to enter. Winner will be chosen in about a week and a half. For the people who didn't see that viral video with the blue smoke coming from the exhaust, check out this clip. So when I uploaded this video, I saw that exhaust smoke. I didn't even think anything of it. Then the second that went live on YouTube, I got hit with emails, direct messages on YouTube, Instagram, and a whole bunch of comments. Everybody was saying, hey, there's something wrong with your motor. You might need a new motor. There's gotta be some kind, there's come some kind of a serious engine issue with your engine on your wide body Hellcat. You know, I'm the kind of person that doesn't sleep at night when there's something wrong with their car. My car is in the shop, trust me, I'm uneasy, I'm not, I can't, I can't focus, and I need to, I need my cars to be running perfect all the time. As you can imagine, everybody commenting, I had all these messages coming in, I started going, I started to get a little bit worried about this exhaust stuff, so I started doing some research. First thing I did was, I went on the hellcat.org forum. If you own a Hellcat, I re highly recommend you go on that forum, because a lot of these issues other Hellcat owners may have had already, and it might put you at ease. And that's exactly what happened. I went ahead, I went on the forum. Turns out, a whole bunch of people with Hellcats, there's a whole bunch of threads on that forum about blue smoke coming from the exhaust. Now, some people said when they first got the car, it was doing it all the time, and then maybe once they hit 5,000 miles, the issue went away. Some other people said the issue kind of comes and goes. It doesn't happen all the time. Then some people had said that they do have the issue that it, where it happens more often. So then my obvious next step was to give True Street Performance in Bayshore a call, and I spoke to Jim, and I was basically asking him, I'm like, hey, check out this clip of my car when I started it up. Check out the puff of the blue smoke. Is that normal, or is this something I gotta like, you know, bring it into the dealers, or an issue, that kind of thing? Now guys, you have to keep in mind, Jim at True Street, he's been working on Hemis for many, many years. This is all they do. All they do is work on these Hemis. And according to him, what he said pretty much kind of matched up with the same thing that everybody else was saying on the forums, which is, yeah, these Hemis tend to do that every once in a while. He did mention, though, that adding a oil catch can on the engine would probably help with the issue. So that's actually what I'm gonna do right now. I went ahead and I purchased an oil catch can. I should have done this from day one. In all honesty, I actually purchased this catch can probably months ago, just haven't gotten around to installing it. So now, thanks to my subscribers that were pointing out this oil issue, I'm gonna stop being lazy, I'm gonna install the catch can. I was probably more excited about the other modifications I was doing to the Hellcat, but the catch can, it's not an exciting modification, but it is a necessary one with these semis. So let me show you the catch can that I got. Okay, so I actually got my catch can from JLT. This is it right here. I'm not gonna go ahead and show the installation process because 
There's plenty of other videos on YouTube that show you how to do it. It's pretty quick, simple. I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now and I'll show it to you installed. Okay guys, so there you have it. This is the JLT oil catch can. So it looks good, you know, everything went fine. The install takes literally two minutes to install. It's very simple. Now the one thing that I didn't like about this, and I'm not sure if a lot of other people have that, the same issue, but you see this hose. This hose connects right here, no problem. It actually clicks in like the factory hose does. This one that goes to the other side on the right, that one does not click in. The factory hose clicks in. This one, you could literally just pull it right out. So I ended up looking it up on Google and the forums and that kind of thing. And there's one guy on, on the Hellcat forum that has the same exact problem. So either he returned his and I was the lucky one that bought it, or it's a common thing with all of these. So. I'll probably try and get a hold of someone else who has one of these to see if they have the same issue. Maybe it's not an issue. I don't see the hose coming loose or anything like that because it's kind of like it's a very stiff hose. That's what she said. Anyway, guys, for the hundreds of people that were messaging me and commenting, you know, some people were actually doing it kind of from like a, from like a concerned place. And I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys pointing it out because you know what, sometimes, I get it, you guys are watching these videos and it's crazy how much people analyze everything they see in the video. But I do appreciate the people who actually were pointing it out because they were concerned. Then we had the second type of people which were all the trolls saying, haha, you know, your $83,000 car needs a new motor. Well, motor's good, everything's good. And even if I need a new motor, guys, it's still covered under, war under warranty. At least for now, because I haven't tuned it or done any other modifications. But I'm getting the itch to go ahead I think after I rack up a few thousand miles, I am going to end up doing a tune, pulley, that kind of thing. Um, so stay tuned for that. Also, I got a race lined up for this weekend. So we'll be putting the Hell Demon to the test with a few other cars. We got an RT from RT Life. We got MDG Collections with this 392 Charger. And then we got Mod to Fame with his Cheapo Kitty Hellcat. We'll be having a race between the cheapest Hellcat versus the most expensive Hellcat. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for the race. Don't forget to check out that cash giveaway in the description below. If it's your first time on the channel, hit the subscribe button. Click the little bell icon so you can sign up for notifications. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Fuck local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined. I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things. I gotta just let it all out, I'm talking about the shit they've been talking about. Telling me I should do this, telling me I should do that. Telling me, telling me things about rap, 